steering wheel looks good you got the brakes those are working fine as you can see right there when you push the brakes look we got the tires we put air on the tires these are actually bike tires but but the thing is we the original tires got messed up so just put bike tires so it looks kind of funny but I mean it works if you saw the car in my first video you would see how messed up it was but we slowly fixed it and soon enough we're gonna be able to sell it and this thing is worth a lot of money also I was wrong about some information on my first video I was saying it's like from 1800s no it's, it's not from 1800s this, this car is uh it's called Ford Runabout and it's from 1903 yes you can see the engine right there that's the little exhaust engine here's the, the spring brake we still haven't started it yet but we almost almost had it and uh, there's a chain what else these little lights I'm not exactly sure how they work but I don't know look at the seat it's a good looking car yes I wish we could start this vehicle it looks so freaking amazing also another thing I wanted to mention was in my first video I don't know if you noticed but if you watched my first uh, small vlog where I had like a little picture of the white car on it or emoji the okay that red, little red truck that we had that this car was sitting on top of uh, basically some guy came here and he wanted to buy that truck from us and he gave us a fake check for two thousand dollars and he stole he stole our red truck and he drove off with it he gave my dad the check and he said yeah it's legit and it's kind of awful for not well my fault because I should have been watching but the freaking idiot just drove off with the truck he stole it right in front of our face. We called and took the check to the bank and they said it was fake. It's crazy how people are. It's just it's insane. People are ridiculous. I feel like I can't trust anybody no more. Look how rusted this thing was, but we cleaned it some. One more thing, this car is, isn't, uh, for all you, for all you people out there who like to, to, you know, to, how can I say it, who like to work with old antique cars like this one, like, you know, more, this, this car is a hundred and something years old, so, 115 years, or something like that, this is a hundred year old car, for you, basically, okay, look, for you guys who like to work with these kind of cars, uh, yes, this is a, original, this is not a replica. A lot of people are, who know about these cars are saying, Oh, that's a replica. It's it's a copy of the original. No, this is actually the original. How do I know? Because a lot of you people who know about these cars, you were saying that uh, this the engine has two speeds. This one has two speeds. Look, from here, and then you switch it from right here. Two speeds. That's number one. This has two speeds. And number two, you said, you people said, who knew about this kind of car said that the, the engine is supposed to have a tag on it or like a plate a small little plate and it's supposed to say like the corporation or company or whatever the tag is right there it took me a minute to find it but see that tag OG something I don't know Stratton Corp See the Stratton? Stratton Corporation. If you don't know what that means for the people who are younger, I sound like an old man, I'm only 17, but the people who are younger or who don't know too much about this car, Stratton was the original name. I mean, I think I'm correct. If I'm, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that later. But before, before Ford, uh, the cars back then weren't actually called Ford. They were called Stratton. This was a, a Stratton runabout 1903. 
and then they changed the names after and somehow it became Ford so all the Ford cars you see they they ended up looking like this but before they used to call the cars Ford they used to call them Stratton which is a weird name but you know they always change it kind of like Minecraft wasn't it called cave game before now they called it Minecraft I just hit a hundred subscribers by the way I feel I feel happy about that I, I finally did it also you want to see something cool my neighbors have so many freaking farm animals look at this this is insane there's a cow look at that where are the other animals they have one baby pig where's the baby pig there was a baby pig just running around right there look at that oh he looking at <laughs> yeah that's that side of the house with all the farm animals let's go to this side of the house i see nothing but old trucks and yes this is my backyard look there's nothing back here we burn our garbage back there why do we burn our trash well because you have to pay i think 25 dollars a month just for these people to to take our trash away so i was like how can we say we don't just burn it in barrels it's a lot easier oh no it's nighttime already oh dang I was also going to mention, uh, thank all of you guys for 100 subscribers. I just, I can't believe we actually made it. That's, that's freaking awesome. If it wasn't for you guys, of course, we wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here right now. I might be making a video about that soon, but, but yeah. Yes. Yes. Look, I wanted to show you guys this. I added this in the back. Ooh, let me turn that light on. Dang, look at that. I put this little back. The car originally had that, but I took it off. Well, I mean, I didn't take it off. It was broken. And, uh, let me see. This thing looks complete. Also, if you're seeing this video right now, uh, the other, the other videos that you, you watched, uh, uh, how can I say it? The videos that you just watched right now, I actually recorded that yesterday. <laughs> that was on uh, Friday. No, that was on Sunday. Can't see the time. My gosh, it's 9.16. I know I got school tomorrow, but I just do not care. I'm trying to fix this car the best I can. My dad's busy, so I got to do it myself. Look at this thing. So, for a lot of you guys probably don't know, but I was actually born in California, and uh, I moved here to Texas. So, I'm here in Texas. That's where I am. 